Hey guys here for another video. Uh, before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to the one and only Baby Gotha. Like she shouted out my video. Uh, and that helped a lot. I got a couple thousands of views off that and I got a lot of subs off that. So, uh, you know, I, I, I will say in the future... Or even now, I'm, I'm thankful for that shout out because uh, I don't think any girls ever shouted me out. The only times I've ever gotten a shout out was when a girl was just raging completely that I gave her like a bum ass review because her OnlyFans sucked, which is very well deserved. I really don't care if they talk shit about me, but uh, yeah, yeah, but baby gothic, thank you so much. Uh, also, I don't look like a homeless guy for once. I actually got rid of the fucking neck beard. Jesus Christ, that was uh. I went to a wax place and recorded that, and uh, yeah, I was I was crying, but it was uh, well worth it to not look as homeless as usual. Nonetheless, let's get started. So today we're gonna be looking at Brianna Elizabeth 21. Obviously, like every fucking video is a request. Uh, she is she she seems to be more of like the underground person, like uh, kind of like XONM Natalie that. Uh, she does have a pretty strong following, not in terms of numbers, but the very few people that follow her definitely are very interested in her. So, uh, yeah, she is pretty pretty, which is good. She is pretty active on all social medias. She does have an Instagram. Uh, she does look like an actual model, which I was like, holy shit, like, what is she doing? She's a full-time nutritionist. She should just go into porn or something. I Obviously, she got into OnlyFans, so I'm pretty sure she's making some good money off of that. Uh, she does have a Twitter, and she is pretty active on that. Uh, I do have some complaints over Instagram, Twitter, in terms of, like, reposting uh, some of her pictures on other social media platforms into her OnlyFans. Again, I think that is pretty lazy, but it's not the majority of her content, which is good. Uh, let's get into her OnlyFans. So, uh, I got it for $10, but it is for $20, which is the higher end price. I don't like that. $20, I better not be having any paywalls. I better not be having any type of bullshit. Like, I better see some anal shit with, like, a donkey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I expect a lot more for anything that's above $15. Because, like I said, $5 to $15 is a pretty cheap range and the good range for an OnlyFans girl. So, uh, again, but I got it for $10, but it is for $20. Uh, she does have uh, 83 photos, and she does have 41 videos. And uh, right when you get her account, you're greeted with this initial video sent out. You, you, well, well, God, God damn, what the hell did I just do? Brain fart. Initial video sent out when you sub is a sex video of a cunt shot to the face. My menu. Uh, that video is not free. Uh, I will tell you this right now. In terms of you guys don't even care about watching this whole fucking video. Uh, the majority of her videos is pretty. Uh, PG, it's not that good. Uh, if you're expecting to see a lot of boy and girl content, you're not. She is one of those girls, unfortunately, that puts everything behind a paywall. Which, I mean, you can kind of tell from her freaking menu. Dick rating, 1 to 10, $12. Imagine that. You send a dick pic and she just puts 9 and you just pay $20. Like, I'm pretty sure she gets so many dick ratings. She's just, like, doing a roulette. She's just like, ah, fuck it, and just slams her head against the keyboard. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that number is, uh, that's your dick rating because I can't imagine her actually thinking and analyzing every single dick that she gets. A dick rating with detailed explanations. Oh, so it is, like I said, so literally the first dick rating is just a fingerhead smash keyboard of a random number. And then the explanation, $6. Hey, it might not be too bad. She might type an essay, you know what I'm saying? So $6 for an entire essay. Uh, it's definitely cheaper than hiring someone in a college to type an essay for you. Dick rating with voice explanation, $25. Yikes. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know I'm sounding a little bit like uh, in a bad mood right now. It's just like for me, it's scary looking at this from like a guy's perspective who's simping toward her. Uh, and I, I do have this huge theory and I'm working on another video of kind of like the background of simping and uh, just how expensive simping can really be and, and how like the toll that you take us uh, psychologically uh solo videos red lingerie vibrator sixteen dollars birthday dress and make myself squirt for twenty dollars god i did not know who has a dress for their birthday when it's not their birthday right like what if it's september 11 and you're like you know what let's hire her to wear her birthday dress watching porn and making myself squirt uh, twenty dollars i feel like i want to like do a custom video because she seems like she's down to do anything probably tell her to wear like a like a pac-man costume and make herself squirt at the local subway uh six videos she has which these have no price and uh for these that do not have any price um they are in the dms and f for the two videos that she did send out in the dms they cost 25 dollars not paying for that so assuming that each one's around 20 to 25 dollars you're already spending a couple hundreds just to see her get penetrated fortunately she does custom content no anal 
three minutes for $65 and $15 each additional minute. Jesus Christ, $15 a minute. That's not bad. And uh, five pictures for $65 and 10 for $115. Automatically, if you can't tell right there, that is a pretty big ripoff. Ten dollar, ten pictures for one hundred and fifteen dollars. So, um, just from her menu, I can tell you, and even all the other things I've been doing, that uh, her account is not really worth it. But let's get into what it actually is, since obviously everyone's interested. So, and you guys are interested in seeing her tits. That's what you're getting. You're seeing a lot of that. The pictures, a lot of nudity, which is great. I mean, some pictures are reposts that she has on her social media. I don't understand why she posts it. Like. She has a picture of her on a bicycle smiling. Like, there's no nudity whatsoever. She's literally in public just on a bicycle. So if you pay, if you want to pay to see her on a bicycle, if you want to pay to see, like, another terms of, like, an Instagram, that's what you're kind of getting. Again, there is some nudity there. You get to see her tits and her nipples if that's what you want to see. But it just seems very weird that, um, so I'd say about 40% of her pictures is kind of like Instagram pictures. Her on a bicycle, her in a market, her wearing a hat, her in a gym. Like, no one really cares about what your new outfit is that you got from, like, Forever 21. No offense, but obviously people are not paying to see that type of stuff. So her pictures are out of the 83 photos. I would say if you want to see her tits and her vag, you're going to get that. But it's not consistent, and a lot of the pictures that she has aren't that type of, uh, you know, content. So let's talk about the video. So for me, uh, she is one of the more lazier people in terms of her OnlyFans fit. So I'm gonna give her, you guys, the top five longest videos. So longest one's a minute, 55 seconds, 49, 44, 38, 32. And then it starts whittling down to seconds, so 12, 10, 9, 6, 7, 4, and three seconds, which doesn't really make sense why you would make a three second video. Like the amount of things you can do in three seconds is almost nothing. Like when you blink, right? That's like a second right there. And then you're like, oh, processing whatever you see. That's like another second right there. Not really worth it, but let's talk about the actual content of what she has in her videos. Uh, so her longest video is just her sucking her thumb and fingers for literally a minute. Uh, I've never seen a video like that of a girl just being sexual and sucking her own fingers. Like I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to emulate sucking a dick. I don't know. Maybe someone should introduce her to a dildo. I think that might be more effective than literally sucking her fingers that have like actual really long fingernails. It's not really that good. The amount of time she's just showing off her tongue and throat, like actually literally like zooming in in her throat. It's just like a black hole. I don't think people want to see your throat. I, I've never heard of that type of fetish when people uh, start looking at people's throat. Uh, next video is just her vibrating herself. And I will say uh, the majority of her videos about, I would say 95% of her videos is just her kind of like dancing to music or feeling herself. There's not really any penetration. There is one boy girl video, which is about 10 seconds long. But again, my issue with that is that, um, and this is not just with her OnlyFans, it's with any girl's OnlyFans to do this. Uh, suppose there is a boy and girl video and you only see the butt getting penetrated by a guy. You don't see any you don't see any face, you don't see any back head, you don't see anything, you just see a dick and an ass getting penetrated. Uh, the issue is that it can be anyone, right? Like she could have posted another video that she found on Pornhub or something and then posted it as her own and be like, hey guys, boy and girl content, if you wanna see this, uh, tip me a hundred dollars or whatever and yes you are allowed to scam on only fans if you didn't know there's no consumer or user protection so they can actually get away with that and, and customer support for only fans is not good so uh yeah honestly when i looked at her videos i felt like uh i was like a teenage girl all over again even though i'm a guy listening to all this like weird like early 2000s music um for me she's like a siren she's very beautiful on the outside but her pussy looks like a deep abyss it is one of the nastiest pussies i've ever seen like i get i i, I get it she's like a venus flytrap there's like a trade-off whatsoever i'm pretty sure she's a nice girl but that pussy uh definitely disturbed me and um yeah her videos aren't that good like i said it's just a lot of dancing uh she is wearing a lot of swimsuits and there is some nudity but there's not an entire like uh her video content is not like of completely nude so uh, overall, her account, I don't think it's worth it at all, especially for $20. I'm not saying it's worth it at all for $10. Like I said, if you're paying $20 or thinking of getting it for the price of $20, definitely do not get it. Uh, her numbers just aren't high, and even if they were, right, the consistency of her content being short, the consistency of her videos not being long, the consistency of her videos not really seeing any effort, I think that definitely warrants something. I think it would be nice if someone told her that and she actually was kind of like in touch with the fans. Like even when you get the DMs of her videos, like I said, uh, it's $25 for each video. So that's already more than her 
uh, right if you get two videos it's already five months worth of subs so it just doesn't seem really worth it yet so uh yeah sorry trixie boo baby brianna whatever you want to be called uh, i don't think it's worth it so uh yeah go suck a dick literally instead of sucking your finger so uh if you guys have any suggestions please leave in the comments below uh with all the social medias just so i know who i'm looking at preferably the actual link or use the excel sheet which is easier on my part so again thanks for watching this video and sorry for this lazy review and have a good day guys bye